Welcome to this video. Thank you so much for tuning in, sharing in this now moment with myself and with one another. If you haven't seen these videos before, welcome. Welcome back if you have. My intention is unity and oneness, the highest levels of love light. I wanna go into a little flow. Um, have a few minutes, so I thought I'd pop in and use the time that I have available to me to kind of go into a little bit of flow just to see what's going on with the energies. How's everybody feeling? I have had a rough uh, go of it and positive things have come out of it, but whoo, anybody else who's going through Kundalini stuff, uh, I'll be doing some more videos on those eventually. Um, and uh, until then, hang in there. I've done a lot of videos on ascension symptoms. You might find that, that helpful. Um, it, an old, it's an oldie. I do have to update it at some point, but um, in the meantime, we've got a lot of solar stuff going on. We have a lot of earth changes going on. And for those of us that are sensitive to it, it can heighten our sensitivity. It can make us feel many different things. So it's really important that we give ourselves self-care. And um, you know, I talk about that all the time and it's easy for me to tell other people to do it. And then I forget to do it myself, right? So. Just being aware of that is really important right now for a lot of us. All right, in the meantime. So as we find our balance and we find our way in the forecast that is to come, many are forecasting heavy precipitation. I'm just gonna roll with this, you guys. And in these upcoming months and in this um, projected trajectory, there are, uh, things to come, catastrophes and uh, floods, the final days. I don't know where we're going with this, so I'm just gonna just trust here. <sighs> Many people are feeling the angst that comes with this particular type of transmission or these particular types, types of transmissions. We are speaking right now of the transmissions that have been transmitted across the broad spectrum of the internet. Once again, we invite everybody to drop within, to seek shelter in thine own heart. And rather than under the, um, those that are under the guise, this is the plan words because not everybody, it's not a disguise. I'm being called to play with that. So I will, all right, we'll come back to that. Obviously we think of the word disguise. Um, sometimes we, are listening to people who aren't aware that they're not necessarily tuning into the highest levels of love light. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because there are many different realities that are being played out right now from my perspective. And everything I share is also from my perspective. So what the guides are basically saying is drop into your heart and feel into these stories and recognize who's telling the story, where it's coming from. And some of it's some of these stories are being projected and told from the bottom of their heart and other people are sharing these stories because of experiences that they've had. But what I'm being shown and being called to invite everybody to do is don't get locked into any one truth, not getting locked into one particular outcome, because that is still being decided by us. So we are all under the spell, if you will, of our own doing. And this is a plan words as well, right? We're doing things and it's casting a spell. Um, so we've done things that have caused us to fall under the spell of whatever belief system it is in whatever structure it is, whether it's a belief about science, whether it's a belief about religion, whether it's a belief about uh, ourselves, uh, whether it's a belief about angels, right? These are all things that we have come to know and understand, ideas that we've come to know and understand that have been taught to us by others that we have taken on as our own truth, so to speak. So we would venture to say that much is being given to us right now that is landing in a different way. And so let us play with this for a moment because we are in a very multi-dimensional space or field right now. And it is difficult sometimes to tune into what would be the appropriate message to share at this time. And this is what we are inviting you to tune into. Is the message that I'm listening to, that I'm tuning into, that I'm giving my time to, may not be my 
message either. It could be someone else's that you're like, yep, yeah, nope, uh, not for me, I'm moving on. Um, the most relevant for my own expansion and growth right now. And by the way, I'm being called. Some of my videos may not be relevant on one day and another day it might be very relevant. I have this with other people that I watch and tune into as well. Is the expression that is being offered in the dialogue that I am tuning into and interpreting really going to guide me in the direction that is for my highest growth and greatest potential, my greatest expansion and my most heartfelt centered alignment? If it is not, yet it is stirring my thoughts or it is provoking certain feelings and emotions, while we might venture to say that that can be useful at certain times, now is the time to begin to shift your direction and your attention, our direction and intention, plan words, intention, attention, where attention goes, energy flows, inward, into our own place, into our space where we can feel at home in this place of seeming displacement. For while many of us are feeling um, ill at ease, we could say, or feeling as if there is much uncertainty and we are looking for others to tell us where it is that we are going, we would venture to say that where each of us is going is our own individual adventure. It is up to us to create our adventure. I'm seeing those, those stories that you would pick the end, it would be a different ending and you'd be like, I'm gonna have this ending and see what that looks like. The guides are kind of saying, visualize that. Like we can listen to somebody give us an outcome of what's going to happen. We're really being called to ask ourselves, is that what I want? And if we don't want that, then why are we continually looking for that same story? Because we will get validation when more people are telling the same story if they're all tuning into that particular program or timeline, myself included. And um, I can see certain outcomes or potentials, but oftentimes you'll notice on this channel, I did go there for a while years ago um, in some ways, but that was then and this is now. So my guides have actually guided me. My guides are me from the future from one perspective. It's a collective of energies and frequencies. Our higher selves are just us in a higher dimension or a, a frequency that is in a higher plane of existence, or I could go on and on to all the different definitions or ways we could understand that. But what we're called to do is go within and be the creators now. And we do this through our thoughts, through our language, and we are being called to listen to ourselves. And when we listen and we truly know thyself, we know if we're listening to the self that is wrapped up in beliefs that is wrapped up in other people's stories or if we're listening to the true inner self that actually holds the knowingness and what i mean called to share is it's difficult to do that sometimes if we're in fear about where our future is headed but if we're constantly looking towards the future and we're not in the now moment then we're going to be magnetized or pulled towards that future that's already been projected. So when people are pre um, predicting things, they're telling a story. And in many cases, in truth, there is a high probability to what they're predicting, myself included. However, we are the ones that are actually co-creating that story. So that timeline has every ability and potential to shift dramatically if each and every one of us shifts dramatically before that happens. I'm getting goosebumps. Like this is really important right now. And what I'm hearing is this is the most important message. Not like I'm saying my message is more important. The most important message is the message for us to go within and start creating from that space rather than looking for someone else to tell us what's going to happen. Tell our own story. And I'm also being called to actualize our potential. So we have this potential that many of us are just now beginning to comprehend or think about, well, what if I could do that? What would that look like? Well, I'm feeling maybe I am able to do this 
fill in the blanks. I always say fill in the blanks. Maybe I am able to try this other job. Maybe it would be okay if I moved. What if I did that? What would it look like? And I'm being called, and I've, I've done this in sessions before as, as actually a way of figuring out where your path is. And the simplicity is ask. Ask for the signs to show up in your life and then be willing to follow them. Um, and that's a whole other video, which I'll be doing also. And so we are being called to use all of our senses and to step away from that which no longer makes sense. Even that which seems to make sense because it is based on a particularly grand schematic or it's in a particularly, um, I'm seeing like it's got all the bells and whistles or we're being told this is, this is it. And we're, I'm just being shown there's a lot of bells and whistles that are being offered to us right now. Look over here, listen to this, tune into that, believe in me, see me. So we are being called to heed the call within before we listen to the other calls that are being offered. When we do that, we are then called or magnetized or drawn to those other stories that are a reflection of what is becoming our truth. And truth is a, is a broad word. And um, we might go into this at a different time. At this point in time, we are inviting you to feel into what feels good for you right now and make that your truth. simple. We're listening to projections of things that are negative. We understand, we've heard them, we've heard four or five people say the same thing. They might be tuning into the same timeline, they might be tuning into the same reality structure. Um, that doesn't mean it's ours. Doesn't mean we have to own it. Doesn't mean we have to follow that. Or we can say, all right, let's stop and reflect. How am I creating that right now? I don't want to see that. That isn't my reality. How am I co-creating with that right now? And I'm already hearing some of the questions I get on this. And one of the questions would be and has been, well, we're all collective. So I'm not creating that, but the collective is. Well, the what we're seeing, okay, first of all, what's being projected hasn't happened yet, number one. So we're seeing the future. But if the future is there and we're here, it's only logical that what we're doing now is creating the future to keep it simple, right? So the other question I get is, well, Carrie, everything that's happening, it, it seems so awful. How can I focus on me when there's so many bad things going on in the world? And it's back to those bad things that are going on in the world are a reflection of the things that we have as a collective agreed to. We have all co-created this together. So we're in this soup together. That doesn't mean I personally have done things that are causing wars in other countries. <laughs> That's not what the guides are, have shared. What we are doing is we are creating human mannerisms and there's a word for it i'll go back into flow in just a minute but essentially we're creating these these outcomes potentially because of the unhealed parts if we want to call it that we could look at it and say we are already healed because we were already one but we've co-created and now this is what we're seeing we're also we're seeing a reflection of what we are no longer it's an echo of the past it's maybe something that's been created from our ancestors. You know, it took time to create these things, but it's through human behaviors is what the word was. So we are being called to recognize these human behaviors as our own human behaviors. That's what the guides are saying. Survival, fear, uh, the need to control, um, back to fear, right? So all of these things are being reflected back to us in things such as the mistreatment of other people, war, the mistreatment of our earth, 
animals, whatever it might be. So we're really being called to recognize that within ourselves. If we all take that time to clear, cancel, clear, delete that, clear that programming from our field, heal whatever needs to be healed, recognize and see these parts of us that are maybe looking for um, a way to be released and not perpetuate those habit patterns, then these other stories will no longer play out because each and every one of us will be working on ourselves and each and every one of us on an individual is what makes up the collective. Yes, but Carrie, I mean, I hear all these things I'm going on in the collective. There's too many people that aren't working on themselves. And that may be true to a certain extent, but on the flip side, that's the reality that they're choosing to participate in, whether it's conscious or unconscious. So we, the ones who are conscious of our interactions with each other, interactions, inner actions, we are the ones that are responsible because we're holding ourselves accountable. And if we're looking at this as I have in the past, well, why does it just have to, why do I have to be the responsible one? Why can't I be? Well, you can, you can do whatever you want. You are making a choice to be responsible. So if we're choosing to be responsible, we're being called to do it with a light heart and not take that responsibility on as if it is oh, woe is me, I have to be the one to support everybody else. Nobody listens to me and I'm the one that knows the path. Do you see where I'm going with this? These are all human traits that directly or indirectly cause a ripple effect that then co-creates our reality. And I'm constantly working at this. For me, this is when I'm in flow, it's very easy. And um, sometimes I'm not in flow and it's a little harder than other times because I am human working through my own human conditioning, so to speak. So a lot of these things are just a condition that we could say has been placed upon us. I choose to say we've, I choose to take the power back and clear out that condition or that belief that I'm in some so, somebody else's reality. And this is my own personal choice. You can choose what works for you. So we are also being called to look at one another and see our own selves reflected back. And if it isn't something we wish to see, we are being called to look within and project outwardly what it is we do wish to see. We are being called to work and co-create from that space. The more we do this, the more we begin to see outwardly what is being shown from within. You may not begin to see this right away. I'm, this is a play on words. And you may not see this when you are watching an old program. So if we're looking for the new, we're being, we're being asked to not look at the old. So we're expecting something from something else. Like that should be, we should be seeing it on the television. Well, the television is being played out based on an old program. We're not running that program anymore. That one is still running. It's like a rope. You've ever seen those movies from the future where you have an old robot that's no longer up to date. It's like using your old phone right? You're still going to see what that old phone had on it, but you're not going to have access to the newer programming. That's what the television is. Although there are a lot of television shows that are giving us pieces of the future and of the new, but a lot of them are being projected still from the past and from these old programs of fear, survival, uh, all of that. This is important for we are on the threshold we are on a place, we are in a place, if you will, within the human race that we are co-creating at a very fast pace. So if we are, and I've talked about this before, so I apologize if this is going to be redundant, but apparently this message is important for all of us, for me as well. 
And the faster we go, the faster we move forward, the faster we move toward that which it is that we are creating now. So it will show up for us much sooner. So garden thy thoughts. I, I was hearing pull the weeds from the garden, but pull out the weeds. Notice when we're thinking things that may are may be something we're thinking because of the television shows and the programming we're watching, because of the the, the articles we're reading, because of conversations we're having with others who may not be consciously choosing and maybe unconsciously choosing. Does that, does that make sense? that makes sense. For when we pick out these weeds, we recognize the weeds within us and we see the weeds that are all around us. And we are creating, I'm hearing, um, quite Mary Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? How do we grow the garden? If we are constantly tending to the weeds is another question that I'm seeing. Yet we will find that this becomes much more a state of mind and puts us in a much better state or state of ease, if you will. And therefore, the weeds will begin to remove themselves for the weeds will not be able to grow in a garden well um, groomed, if you will. Recognize that each of us is an individual garden or forest or ecosystem. The way in which we grow our fruits may not look the same as our neighbor. We may not enjoy the same fruits of our labor. We may not labor in the same ways, yet we are each here gardeners in our own way. So let us come together and be that we wish to see in this template that we are creating in this reality and allow ourselves the freedom to move the space within which we move within. So this is all plain words. I'm seeing like, let's play with this a bit. Move through this space in this now time to create more space to be more spacious, to let go of the constraints that keep us from accessing our fuller potential. And as we do this, we recognize our greater potential. And as we recognize our greater potential in the now, we begin to co-create a different reality now that will soon be seen in the future. Some of us are already seeing this. Some of us are seeing this while we are looking at the other realities that we are also part of in some ways. So we would invite you to get back to being the rock, being the wave, being the water, being that uh, I'm seeing the plant and the trees of the earth, being the fire within that is required for us to grow. Um, just seeing how all of it's important. We each hold our own signal. We each hold our own template. We have amazing resources within us. So the more we grow, the more we expand our resources, and the more we begin to see that reflected back to us in each other, on the earth, in technology, so on and so forth. So that was our little uh, inflow message for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. In love and light, guys. Namaste.